So, uh, uh, so my name is Martin Nomander, and um, I work for Google uh, in the developer platforms team. And my job is to support Todd and the Todds of North America, because right now there are dev fests running all over uh, North America and all over the world, actually, where people are learning about uh, Android Wear. And uh, a little bit about my history, I, uh, I grew up and went to university in Sweden and uh, actually worked a couple of years and then moved to Silicon Valley 15 years ago. And I started my own startup um, and uh, it crashed and burned. I joined another startup, it crashed and burned. Usually they sort of crash about a year after I joined them. <laughs> um, but I've been at Google now for eight years and Google's still around, so keep my fingers crossed. I haven't been able to crash that one yet. Um, and uh, so uh, we were talking uh, earlier this week, uh, Todd and I, about what, uh, you know, should I, should I speak or, or shouldn't I? And Todd said, of course you should speak. And I was like, but yeah, I don't know what to speak about. And he said, oh, talk about what it's like uh, living in Silicon Valley. So, okay, so I thought, mm. uh, I put together some, some thoughts uh, about what it's like, and I came to some surprising conclusions as I was thinking this through one late night in the hotel room. So, uh, so I live and work in Mountain View, California, where Google's headquarters is. And the first impression you get when, when, when you go there now, not when you moved there 15 years ago, but today is that it's, it's really a Google town. If you, it has 70,000 employees, and uh, 70,000, uh, sorry, um, uh, people live in, uh, in Mountain View, and every day 25,000 Googlers come to town and uh, to, to, to go work there. So if you've ever gone to a university where it's like a really small university town with a really big university, that's sort of what it feels like in Mountain View. Except it's Googlers going around on, on funny colored bikes instead. And um, so it really diffuses uh, the, the whole area and uh, it makes, and Google hires uh, so many people. Every Monday you see another couple hundred people are joining. So it's put a real squeeze on, um, on housing and uh, the election actually in November will be a big part of it for the election for city council will be about where, where can we build new housing for all these people coming in from all over the world. Another thing that I was struck at, I'm still struck at actually, I've been at Google for eight years, but it still surprises me. In previous companies I worked at, it was all about, you know, should we do, should we take this product to in this direction or in that direction? And then there was always talk about, okay, what's good for the shareholders, what's good for revenue? There is, I don't think I've been in eight years in a single meeting at Google where that has been discussed. It's instead, what is good for the users? And, uh, and Google, I know Google has this uh, do no evil and some people make fun of it, but I can tell you from the inside that there really is, it's quite valid and I heard it in many meetings, people bring up, you know, are we sure we want to do that? Isn't that evil? And then, okay, let's not do it. So one, one um, example is the data liberation front. You should be able, it should be extremely easy to leave Google is the idea. It should be very easy to just take your emails and your Google Plus postings and your photos and everything and just leave. We hope that you stay, but uh, it would be awfully nice if you did. But uh, uh, we don't want to lock you in. And this sort of thing diffuses Google. It's not always that we manage to do it actually in practice, but we're always trying. We can vouch for that from inside. So who's this guy? He does not work at Google. It, it was such an awesome sort of dark Sith Lord kind of photo, so uh, I had to include it. And uh, he's actually my car mechanic. This is Larry. Hi, Larry. So uh, the reason I include a, a picture of Larry is that um, I was dropping off my car, I have two cars, and he fixes, works on them regularly. I was dropping the, uh, one of them off the other day, and. Uh, and we got to talking about this and that and the weather, and then he said, oh, by the way, I, I'm not only a car mechanic, I, I, I also run a startup. And I was like, oh, Larry, okay, what does your startup do? 
Well, it, it has this web-based system for people who run uh, car repair shops, so they can uh, keep track of all the inventory and when and which car is coming, when and which car is going, and what my appointments are, and so on. And I'm selling it to other car repair shops. And this is very much something that I run into, and after 15 years, I'm still kind of surprised at. Everybody, it feels like everybody, regardless of what they do, what puts food on the table, has this idea for something they're tinkering with on the free time. And, they are, and, and they're selling, or they have their little web system, or their little mobile app that they built that does this or that. And it's an awesome environment to be in when, when that happens. Another thing is, oh, can you see what these guys are doing? These guys are doing? <laughs> What's that? Lightsabers. Lightsaber, yeah, this is lightsaber training. So uh, it's uh, also, if you're kind of a nerd and, uh, and you, you like uh, uh, science fiction and, and fancy books and movies and, and you're into that whole thing, it's very liberating to be in the San Francisco Bay Area. This is the Golden Gate Knights they are training. I actually don't train lightsaber <laughs> myself. Uh, but uh, it is one of those places where you don't have to be ashamed to uh, go, you know, oh, Thursday night, that's lightsaber training night, because your neighbor is probably doing it as well. Very liberating. Uh, and uh, another thing that I think is uh, great about Silicon Valley is that this is actually an event I ran uh, back in June, right before Google I.O. Uh, you see people sitting at tables here, we, we uh, rented a restaurant, there's this one guy up there pitching his startup idea. And this is something that makes, uh, and, and over there we have uh, folks waiting to come up and pitch their ideas, and then we have judges uh, who, uh, who, who judge and, keep, and pr provided constructive feedback. And I see there are multiple, many, many events every night going on that are like this where people come in and pitch their ideas, and then we have these venture capitalists. I was surprised at how easy it was to get these high-flying venture capitalists to come there for no pay, no opportunity to invest, but just come there and sort of share their knowledge and say things like, oh, you're doing an educational startup. Have you thought of X, Y, and Z? Or you're doing a healthcare startup. You know that how are you going to sell to big hospitals? Well, here are some ways you can think about it. It's a, a great uh, atmosphere of, uh, of sharing, and that's what is what I think makes the area very successful. However, this I pulled down the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, there, the statistics of where the developers are in the United States, and here we see each smiley is one percent of the developers in North America. So we see that eight percent are in the San Francisco Bay Area. That is to be expected. But 5%, or number two, is in this area, in the greater New York area. Nobody gets angry if I say that about New York City. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. No. Yeah. That's the LinkedIn calls it that, too. Oh, LinkedIn, okay. Green 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 area. Area. I won't be tarred and feathered. <laughs> metropolitan area. You don't exist. Uh, it's a 50-mile radius, metropolitan. 50 mile, metropolitan, oh, great, I like it. So this is uh, number two, this, uh, great, uh, this metropolitan New York area is, is uh, number two. Five percent of all developers are here. It may not be as visible because in New York there is finance and fashion and travel and all these other things as well. So it's not as concentrated as it is in, in Mountain View, for example, where, where every other person you meet and see on the street works in tech. But it's, it's almost as big. And there are a lot of other things going on here. Uh, here, for example, you can also go lightsaber training in New York. <laughs> the, uh, what was it, New York Jedis, they're called. Great nerd culture, where you can uh, let your inner nerd out. Uh, there is, if you build your, your own startup, and there are many great startups in the New York area, or even if you work in another company, you as developers, you are holding the keys to the kingdom. You can decide a lot of this, what's good for the users. You can push that. You can push back if, if your boss says that you should build something and lock users in or do something that, that you don't believe in. Also, uh, you can be the next Larry out here. You all know a lot about businesses that Google doesn't know anything about. 
I mean, there are 50,000 smart people working at Google, but, but there are millions of smart people outside Google, many of them in this room. We want to provide this platform for you. We built this watch, for example. We don't really know what all the awesome use cases are, but you have lots of them. I, I was invited the other day to a conference in, uh, in Canada where they said, oh, we'd really like to come to a retail conference and come and speak about what Android wear, the Android watches, mean for retail. And I responded to them, I have no idea what it means to retail. This is a retail conference. You have all the retail um, experts there. We are very happy to provide a platform. We're very happy to teach you how to use it. And then you go and build awesome stuff, stuff on top of it. You all, every single person in this room, know way more about one segment of the market or, or one uh, type of user than anybody at Google does. Finally, about the sharing, and I spoke about how venture capitalists they share and, and there are these great events where you pitch and you get feedback and so on. Well, that's going on right here as well. This is Montclair University, this yes. is past event, Todd Ram, and we're having a great event here today. So I would say that while it's great living in, in Silicon Valley, and I love the climate, and, and I love that Google's there, Silicon Valley, in, in my, my conclusion, is that Silicon Valley is a shorthand, not for a region, but for a mindset. And that mindset, we can just as easily have it here, and I see it happening here as well. And it's all up to us to, and, and I love what, what uh, uh, Todd and, and others are doing here to uh, create this open environment and go and build great apps and, uh, and it will be awesome for everybody. That's it. Thank you for your attention.